Hey guys, this is Tolela Masebe, the man who stole 103 million rands from APSA. He was an employee at APSA, specialist engineering. They say he was a specialist engineer, whatever that means, I have no idea. Dear. But the fact is, the man stole 103 million rand from his employers, APSA. So he was an educated dude, like specialist engineer, sounds like a fundi to me. So I'm very conflicted about this one. Because when I first saw this, I was like, what an idiot. But think about it, he stole 103 million, sounds like a person who know what they were doing. So maybe he even anticipated the consequences. But let's say he's stupid. If he's stupid, that means he stole money. He didn't know what he was doing. He got caught and they took all the money. Now he lost his job and all the benefits. And he's going to rot in jail or maybe die in there or come out a very broke man. But what if he's clever? Like he know exactly what he was doing. Maybe he already stashed the money in offshore accounts that only he can access. Or maybe he bought Bitcoin and memorized the secret keys and all that maybe he know exactly what i was doing and he anticipated the consequences maybe he know that he'll go to jail for five years or whatever and come back a rich man yeah man what if you know that he can take the maximum sentence for this crime and still come back to be a baller because he's a young man he's only 30 so maybe he do know what he was doing but if he don't know i feel sorry for him but let's just say for the sake of this video he know what he was doing the money is out there he know nobody can get to it. He bought cryptocurrency. He memorized everything. So he's just going to come back to be a baller if he doesn't die in jail. You know why there's a possibility that this man know exactly what he was doing and he know that he might get caught. Let me tell you why. These big financial companies, they only in involve the police when they have failed already in trying to get their money back because they don't want to expose their weaknesses to the world like they try to deal with their employees who are criminals on their own try to get back their money and if they fail that's when they will involve the police because they don't want to look weak they don't want to look like the company whose employees can just steal from them anytime they wish because if you understand this is a big amount and it makes apsa look bad so i think they probably try to get their money back from him and he was like nah man i'm not giving it back that's why they eventually had to involve the police and tell you what this is not the first time an apsa employee stole millions from them in 2015 a cleaner in nelspreet actually stole three million from the branch there in nelspreet in 2020 there was another guy he stole 25 million. He was a, a, an employee at APSA too. So this is new, not new to APSA. Which, if you think about it, can say two things about APSA. This can say that APSA is good because it is able to catch people who steal from it. Like when their employees steal from them, they can catch them. And make these other banks look bad because maybe their employees are stealing millions too. But they, they are not catching them. Who knows? Or this can make apsa like a weak bank because their employees keep stealing from them well these other banks we don't hear a lot of this type of incident which means they know their business their employees are unable to actually steal funds actually huge amount of money from them but with apsa it's different story every year somebody stole something from up so with that said guys i want you to tell me what you think in the comments do you think kolela know what he was doing or he was just a foolish man who is now going to go to jail and lose everything i mean if he was a specialist engineer that sounds like a fancy job and I'm sure he was being paid good. So for him to do something like that, I think it could be a calculated move. You know the outcomes, you know what was going to happen. Or maybe he was just a stupid guy. So guys, you tell me in the comments what you think. Is this guy a fool or he knows what he was doing? Do you think Apps have got back their millions or they are going to get back their millions? Or the money is gone. It now belongs to this guy. Even if you go to jail, let me know what you think in the comments. Also check out my website, facts.com. All the articles relating to these videos are posted there. Because I know some people like to read. So you can go and check it out.